You're watching CBS 2 News. Here's the latest at 5.30. Instagram's chief in the hot seat testifying on Capitol Hill today as a Senate panel investigates the platform's potentially negative impacts on teenage users. Welcome back to CBS 2 News at 5. I'm Jeff Vaughn. And I'm Pat Harvey. Now, the app owned by Facebook parent Meta has been under the microscope for months. Instagram says it is stepping up now its efforts to keep children safe. But as CBS 2's Amy Johnson reports tonight, some lawmakers say those measures, mm. well, they fall short. We all want teens to be safe online. Instagram CEO Adam Masseri told senators keeping teen users safe goes beyond just his company. This is an industry-wide challenge and requires industry-wide solutions and industry-wide standards. An industry body setting standards is not the same as an independent one. Masseri says Instagram is already creating age-appropriate experiences for young users and supporting teens who may be struggling. Ahead of the hearing, the platform launched new safety features, including updated parental controls and reminders for teens to take breaks. And Lawmakers were critical. The middle of the night is when you drop news that you don't want people to see. They could have been announced years ago. They weren't, and in fact, these changes fall way short. The hearing comes just months after a Facebook whistleblower turned over internal documents appearing to show the social media company was aware Instagram may cause depression and anxiety, especially for some teenage girls. I think it does. Um create some kind of insecurity within teenagers, um, making them feel like, oh, um, they don't look a certain way. Social media uh, providers have to be responsible, but parents have also have to have supervisory responsibility. Lawmakers are drafting legislation to include privacy rules for children and teens and require social media apps to be more transparent. Amy Johnson, CBS 2 News. And those Instagram new parental controls are set to launch in March. Just yesterday, the Surgeon General issued a report on the harmful effects of social media and gaming on young people. And joining us now for an in-depth look at just how teens are being impacted by social media is Dr. Nicole Siegfried, the Chief Clinical Officer of Lightfully Behavioral Health in Thousand Oaks. Welcome, Dr. Siegfried. Thank you. I am so intrigued by the name. Uh, for, first off, doctors, can you tell us about Lightfully's mission? Yes, our mission is to change lives compassionately. And we really want to change the way that we talk about mental health and that we treat mental health for adults and adolescents. We're really looking more at the core issues that drive mental health, health symptoms rather than disorders. And we know that those core issues can create human suffering. And if we can help individuals really pivot in terms of those core processes, we can help pave the way for well-being and prosperity in, um, in terms of mental health. So, doctor, it seems that many teenagers are attached to their phones, and that has mental health implications. So what do you suggest that parents do to encourage less social media use? Well, I think it's twofold. I think that we are um, beyond uh, the phase of really being able to limit our children from having cell phones. 95% of um, our kids these days have smartphones. And so what we can do instead is to be able to create a media literacy with our children and start talking early on and, and paving the way for our children to learn about the effects of the media, also being able to sort of talk back to the to social media, um, understanding that people uh, often show their highlight reel rather than what's really going on with them, mm. understanding that the pictures that we see are often fabricated or photoshopped. And so being able to train or educate our children in that way will help them be better consumers of social media. Yes. Secondly, oh, go ahead. I think that, oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead, Dr. Seyfried. Well, secondly, I think that we can also serve as role models as adults, because I think a lot of us get um, sucked into social media. And so when we're together with our families, that we can put the phones down and that can mm. um, set the stage for what our children do. And so there can be things, um, you know, at dinner and um, having no cell phones mm -hmm. at dinner or having no cell phones while we're together in the car. 
And so we can limit times in that way rather than saying, you know, only today you can only have three hours on your phone. Wow. We can um, create other activities that we can be involved in in face to face ways, the meaningful ways that can really augment um, mental health for our children in a positive way. Yeah, I love that uh, advice, Dr. Siegfried. And, and likes are more important coming from your family members than people that you don't know, right? So There you go. <laughs> now, what if you suspect that a young person in your life is being negatively influenced by social media? What do you do next? Well, first of all, I think that we can um, open the doors of communication and make sure that people, that our children and adolescents know of that possibility. So when I was talking about media literacy before, it's important that they know some of the pitfalls and some of the possible dangers of social media. And so being able to map out what can happen and what to do in those situations ahead of time, make children more likely to come to their parents when something goes wrong. And to and the way that we talk to our youth when something does go wrong can make a difference so that they can understand that what's happened by somebody reaching out to them in a negative way isn't their fault and that um, this is sometimes a consequence of social media um, and is not necessarily something they did wrong. And so that opens the doors for them to come to us more often. Well, doctor, I especially like what you're saying to parents about leading by example. Really good information. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Bye.